Hey, what is going on, guys? This is Cupcake Smasher here, bringing you another video. And today, King's Cup is in full swing, and I'm going to be showing you my progress in it. And uh, I'm actually having a ton of fun. Hopefully, you guys are too. I'm going to open up this chest in a second, but I kind of want to explain a couple of things. Now, if I go over here to my log, I can show you I'm actually two for two on 12 win chests. I already opened one up. And it dropped a princess for me, so I got that right there. That's going to be my second level 2 legendary. I've also got the lumberjack, which, I mean, that's awesome. Having a level 2 princess, getting a legendary in general is awesome. And uh, also, I have the sparking shop. I'll get that eventually. But I think it's about time to open this up. I'm also going to show you guys a bunch of battles. I might do some live, actually. It just kind of depends on my mood. But opening up this chest right now and making sure my computer isn't lagging, we are almost at... 100,000 gold again, but uh, let's start going. Come on, everything working. Spear golems, that is not a good sign because we're guaranteed one epic and 10 rare. So we're going to get, we're not going to get a legendary this time. There goes two commons. We need our rares, 10 wizards. I've gotten wizards both times. And now let's see, mirror. Okay, that's not the, that's not the best, not the worst. But the best part about this, guys, is the King's Cup challenge is only five gems per challenge, which is absolutely insane. And it's pretty easy. Let's just get in, let's start another one actually, and let's just join right up and let's play. Okay guys, here we are getting into battle and uh, X Bowler, oh yes, X Bowler is by far the best deck in this, in my opinion. The uh, Balloon, there's another, their Rage Balloon I think it's called, there is a very good version of that out there, but I really do like X Bowler, it's it's super fun. He's gonna give me thumbs up. My guess is he's gonna be a three musketeers deck, but honestly, three musketeers isn't a huge worry for me because oh look at that. So that's one issue, guys. Um, I, and I should have explained this earlier. W one major kind of flaw is because there's limited amounts of decks, uh, you, you're gonna have a pretty good chance of being able to guess exactly what your opponent has before they do it, and uh, that could obviously be done better. But right now, it's really not that huge of an issue. I mean, everything's balanced really well. It, it, it really, truly is balanced really well. So for that, like, to Supercell, I give them a lot of credit. It's 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 in a really fun position. They're gonna, he's going to go with a Miner down. I'm going to Fireball down that Minion Horde, and his Miner's going to be basically useless. Uh, but this is definitely the Three Musketeers Miner Musketeer deck. The, what, Miner Muskies Mirror, they called it, or whatever. Let's go Ice Spirit down in front of this Expo. And he's going to go with his own Ice Spirit. So that is going to work out. Let's actually go with a Skeleton Army. That was kind of stupid of me because I need it uh, somewhat. But, uh, okay, yeah, that was really stupid because his, um, well, my goodness, Knight locked onto my Expo. So not my best play ever. Let's go with a Princess down here to do a little bit more chip damage against this tower. And I think... We may just take it down here, actually. If he doesn't counter it right away, and he did counter that princess. Let's see, what is our fireball at? 229. We could do it by two hit points. Just take down his tower right away. I'm going to hold off, though. I'm actually going to throw an expo on defense to help myself out a little bit. Let's, yeah, get that expo down. So now his three musketeers are going to be less of an issue. Let's go ice spirit. That'll take down the minion horde along with the zapier. Boom. Okay, I'm lagging. A little bit hopefully that's not showing too much on the recording but uh yeah there is a bit of lag right now so hopefully we can get through that and still do all right let's drop a princess down here to try to get some chip damage off and then I think it's time for an expo and he's gonna go with mirror three musketeers okay wow I'm gonna go skeleton army surround them that was a little bit early actually and let's actually get a bowler down here to try to get rid of them luckily one musketeer did lock on to the bowler uh, so we didn't have as much of a loss as we maybe would have and let's throw a mini pega in front of that expo. Try to help do some damage. And uh, yeah, our mini pega is going to do a lot. Let's go with the princess and zap. Oh, minions, move forward. Oh, okay, one survived. That's really not that horrible. I'm going to fireball down the tower and then ice spirit these minions. And that should be the win right there. And yes, that will be. So good game on this one. Let's get into another one, I'm thinking. Yeah, let's, let's, let's just keep going with live battles. Okay, and we're at the frozen hog in this one, guys. So I don't even... Frozen Hog is kind of interesting because it's rather hit or miss, but we do have the Tombstone, and I think I saw the Inferno Tower, if I was not mistaken there, and I'm hopefully not mistaken because I'm going to need it against this Golem. Let's drop an Ice Wizard in the back just so I don't run out of Elixir, but 
Desperately needing an Inferno Tower. I'm not sure if I actually saw it or if I'm crazy. Hopefully this Tombstone will do some work though. Oh goodness, what is he going to have is really the question at this point. I really could use something good. Let's go with a Hog Rider opposite side lane. Try to give him something else to focus on. And we definitely do not have the Inferno Tower. I've already cycled back to my Tombstone. Let's keep this Golem going all the way across the map. And actually, I think I just threw that right on top of a log. That's pretty poor placement for me. A lot of peas right there. But uh, luckily, though, we are going to take down his Golem finally. And actually, it did no tower damage, which is kind of interesting. Uh, let's go with a free spell, actually. Try to stop everything from killing that mini P.E.K.K.A. And now we're going to get uh, probably at least one hit on the tower, which is nice. Yeah, one hit from the tower there. But that is a lot of damage because it is the mini P.E.K.K.A. And the mini P.E.K.K.A. is a beast. So let's go Knight here. Stop that Musketeer. Perfect. And now I think... I think I'm going to wait and see what he does. I don't want to push too much. If he doesn't throw anything, I'll just throw a hog up by itself. And yeah, let's go with a... No, let's go hog rider there. I think I can throw it in the river and it would go there to that elixir collector, but I just don't think it's worth it. And it looks like he is out of elixir. So let's go with our ice wizard here. And then we're going to go spear golems opposite side lane. Try to take down this minion horde without using one of my spells because spells are essential to keep in your hand as long as possible. Tombstone down. Uh, that'll be Golem, Distraction, whatever. And now we got a knight in front of that Ice Wizard. So hopefully we can take down his tower here uh, in this go. Let's actually go with our Poison Spell down. Try to see if I can do anything. Ice Wizard may be able to do just enough damage with the Poison Spell, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's just short. And that is a bit unfortunate for me. Let's go with a Hog Rider down. Just try to take that down. I could poison it down, but I'd prefer to keep the poison as long as possible. And it definitely does look like he is going to be saving his troops four behind that golem but my mini pega should take down his musketeer it does and now let's go with another tombstone down here in the center i'm going to drop a poison spell as well and uh i think some spear golems to help with these minions and he's going to log down oh goodness this could be bad let's go with the mini pega down right there to help do a little bit more damage against that golem and i need the knight okay good the knight is going to absorb some of those fire spirits but oh goodness he's got that minion horde and i don't have any air defense right now so hopefully we can get through okay now drop that poison spell and that ice wizard should help us take down these minions it'll be close though and uh, oh just barely gonna stop him he could fireball oh, okay if he has the zap he's gonna take it down no he's got the log so he will get us down there uh that is rather unfortunate and that free spell was awful absolutely atrocious so i don't know he just made a good play to come back guys i'm thinking though we should be still like in the clear Honestly, like this deck, if I'm pushing, is really, really, really strong. We're going to take down these archers. This mini pick is going to do all right. And hopefully, I think I could just poison down the minions if I want to. Yeah, let's just do that. Should I? Actually, I'll hold it. Let's go with our, once these minions go down, yeah, let's drop that tombstone. And uh, I'm thinking, let's go with a hog rider mini pekka. So boom, hog rider. Now I'm thinking mini pekka from the center. And that will be kind of interesting to see. Let's go with, uh, what's next? Uh, I think free spell, maybe? Freeze? Yeah, let's go freeze. That'll uh, definitely put a stop to him defending, but it, at what cost? I mean, will I get... Oh, one more hit. Okay, that, that's game. Okay, guys, here we go against Sir Orange, and we got Go Log Go. Not my favorite, but I think it'll work, so let's just see what we can do. I mean, yeah, let's just go Gollum down right now. Uh, yeah, Gollum off the start, because I didn't have my Elixir Collector, which is disappointing, and he's got a Knight, which either means he has the Three Musketeers or the Hog Freeze. Hopefully, we're going to be seeing a Hog here. Uh, no, we are, we are definitely not. Okay, let's go with the Fireball down, take down those Three Musketeers. Uh, I'm also going to throw the Log to just demolish them, and that is awesome. So, once his Knight goes down, if his Knight goes down, I'm going to be throwing some support units, probably these mi the Minion Horn, and this will probably actually be the game. Because I don't know how much air defense he actually has. Gollum will do some damage to his minion horde. And we'll see. Yeah, Gollum took down his minion horde. That is insane. We're going to take down this tower. A uh, fresh... Uh, that was just an easy, easy, easy play. Uh, we got Gollumite still on his tower. And he is in some serious trouble. I mean, he could throw his three musketeers again. But I have the log fireball for a plus three elixir exchange every single time. I do know he has the miner though. And he will have the mirror. So... There are some issues that could arise with this deck, but I just don't think he could pull it off. I mean, that miner alone did not do very much. And now we're probably going to be seeing the three musketeers again. I'll throw the golem in the center just to help myself out uh, as a little bit of a tank for that archer and musketeer. But we'll see what he does. I'm very interested in how he's going to plan to recover. And he's going to throw three musketeers again. So he is not worried about himself, 
which I, cer I certainly would not be confident in what's going on. But uh, he he's like in his position. Let's go with a fireball down on the three. I might have mis just missed one. That would have been bad. And it looks like we're just going to take the three crown. Okay, good game. Goodbye. And back here, guys, we did just win again. Uh, yeah, that's another 12 win challenge. So let's open up this chest, see what we get. Uh, four cards. No. If I get 80-some commons here, it's about to be awesome. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, two, two hog rider, and I just requested for hog rider in my clan because I needed to upgrade it. Well, rip. Um, so I'm gonna get like uh, eight more rares. Uh, sometimes so yeah, the eight bomber towers. I guess it's good. It's not wizard again. Um, we got one poison spell and then 89 zaps. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll work with that. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video today. If you did, make sure to slap a like on it and subscribe for more. And until next time, guys, this has been Cupcake Smasher here, bringing you another video.